Well, hey there, guys. What is going on? I got another padlock here for you tonight. This one's going to be a Yale Series Y210 by 51 millimeters. Here's a look at the packaging. It's got a strength rating of the number 5. 51 down there on the bottom. And, uh, yeah, here's the packaging. Here's the key. Whoops. Sorry about that. Here's the key bidding right here. If I can stop bumping the camera. It's going to be a 5 pinner. Oh, it's going to be one of these videos. There's the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. First one's way up high. And you go second, two, three, four, five. Anyway, it comes with three keys, which is kind of cool. So I did run into a little bit of trouble trying to pick this guy. Show you the model number. There's a good look at the model number. Y210 by 51. The one with the closed shackles, Y210C by 51. Uh, that's where the shackles all protected, which is a nice padlock. Alright, so I ran into trouble right here, right off the bat. You got this uh, parasitic keyway. You got that warding right there that goes all the way through the lock. So you can get your first pin up high. And then you go down to your second pin, and you can only reach it so far in the third. And as you go deeper in the lock, you can't push the pins all the way up. And you got to be careful if you get your pick caught on this warding right here. You'll bend your pick because you think you're on a pin. So, to counter that, top the keyway tensioning inverted with a Peterson pry bar light. Get this set up here. I tried bottom. I didn't have much luck. Those pins are kind of long. Alright. Got that set up. And then to pick the lock, I'll be using a Peterson 15,000 hook pick. And you can see I've already kind of bent it just a little bit trying to get it around that warding. But, you know, what are you going to do? Nothing on one. Two is kind of spongy. Two is set, dropped into a false set, back to one now. Counter, got him pushed way up there. I think I got him set. Maybe not, nope. Let's try one again here. I can get on it. Maybe. arguing with me all right i think i got one set moving on to three counter three set moving on to four if i can find four all right that may be five nope that was four right there moving on to pin number five now if i can get them up there i got the lock open and there it is right there so that took a bit of practice um not a bad pick. Highly encourage uh, all the lock supporters out there to at least get one of these because of that. That warding does make it very, very challenging to uh, get your pick around. But very nice keyway. Very nice padlock. I think it's steel body. It said on the package. I like the closed shackle version, but uh, these are really nice padlocks. It's going to be the series one two one zero. Come on, camera. There we go. Series Y210 by 51. So there it is, picked open. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you that package one more time. It's just a standard Yale package. They don't have a model number on the package. They only say 51 millimeter steel padlock right there. And there's the back of it. Uh, I don't see a model number on the package. But it does come with three keys, which is cool. Uh, double ball locking mechanism so you can't shim it. So there it is, guys. Picked open. And like I said, the only trouble I had was just trying to use a standard hook pick when I needed a 15,000 hook pick. I did get it open with 18,000, so just something skinny you can uh, slide around that wording. Alright, guys. That's all I got for you. As always, thank you for watching, and remember, if you need some lock picks, ThinkPeterson.com